Oh, Biden told a whole string of lies yesterday. You think I'm going to let him get away with it? Hell no. This sticks in my crawl worse than almost anything on the planet, y'all. And I want to make sure that we go ahead and list this stuff out. Biden told an entire string of lies about guns, about the Second Amendment yesterday. And I need to tell y'all, if y'all don't ever, you know, already know this, Never tolerate anybody who uses the term assault rifle or assault weapon in your presence ever when they're describing what is legal to have in the States. It's a made up term that gets used by liberals and men with extraordinarily tiny peckers. Uh, this is just, just something that is made up to make everybody scared of guns. By the end of this video, you will be able to completely humiliate anybody who is using the term assault rifle. First off, I want to say this video is brought to you by our friends at Birch Gold. Go to birchgold.com slash buddy or text buddy to 989-898 to get your free info kit. Y'all thought I was just making this stuff up about diversifying your IRA? Let me tell you, you see a bank crash, you see another bank crash like what's going on now, and it pays to diversify the stuff that we got so that our hard-earned dollars are not taken and stolen from us. Birchgold.com slash buddy. Buddy to 989-898. You will be so glad that you did. Now, as far as these guns go, a civilian AR-15 does not have select fire. If you don't know what select fire is, that's fine. I'll, I'll explain it to you real quick. Select fire is when you can go back and forth between semi-auto and complete fully automatic weapons. Brrr, all that kind of stuff. Now, here's the deal. The AR-15 Sporter which is not select fire at all, it's semi-automatic only. It's just like any other semi-auto rifle out there on the market. Now, yes, it looks scary. Ooh, you know, but calling it a semi-automatic weapon wasn't good enough for these politicians on the left, so they called it an assault weapon, which sounds scary. It's propaganda to the uninitiated. Now, they will tell you all kinds of stories about how terrible and how powerful this actual weapon is. But the truth is, in most states, you can't even hunt deer with a damn thing because it uses 223s, which are considered not strong enough to give a clean kill every single time. It's inhumane to the deer. So what's the deal? Hunting was not a part of the Second Amendment. It never was. Self-protection was. The ability to protect yourself against a tyrannical government was. So Biden got busted yesterday telling a string of lies. I think it was like five to seven of them if you want to count them up. But the whole deal was, when he's talking about these guns, the AR does not stand for assault rifle or even automatic rifle. It came from the original maker back in the 50s, which was Armalite. So Armalite rifle, became AR. The civilian AR-15s do not have select fire capabilities. Hell, you want to know the truth of it, AR stands for another receipt in my house because I keep buying more stuff for mine all the time. Biden's next lie yesterday was when he said that the weapon used in Nashville's shooting were weapons of war. Bullshit. And call on Congress to pass the assault weapons ban. Assault weapons ban. Assault weapons ban. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. We already have explained that this is a complete lie. He said that you're not allowed to go out and buy an automatic weapon, and you're not allowed to own a machine gun. You're not allowed to own a flamethrower. Well, let me tell you, in the US, it is not illegal to own a flamethrower. Matter of fact, I think they're pretty damn cool. I want one myself. Neither is it illegal to own a machine gun. So if you want to own a machine gun or a fully auto weapon, you gotta be 21 years old, a US resident, pass a very intensive eight to 10 month extensive background check and pay a one-time fee of 200 bucks to obtain a stamp. That's all you gotta do. Biden also said that the second amendment also banned ownership of cannons. Back when it was passed in 1791, which was proven to be complete crap, so he doesn't know about that. He calls himself a second amendment guy. He doesn't know a damn thing about it. If not dumb enough, he spewed yet another line. He said, I never thought when I um, entered public life that I was gonna see the number one killer of children in America be guns. Just because you say it on mainstream media doesn't make it true. Based on the latest available data from the CDC, firearms are not the leading cause of death between children in, that are one to 17 years old. It's actually motor vehicles. So you got that wrong too, bud. Any object that is used to assault another person is an assault weapon. It could be a gun, it could be a knife, it could be a baseball bat, it could be a hammer. Um, it could be a knife like in Idaho. It could be a vehicle like the a-hole that drove through the parade up there in Minnesota. 
What, you didn't see any liberals calling to ban cars? This is an assault car. It drove through a damn parade and killed a whole bunch of kids. But nobody wanted to ban a car, did they? See, the car doesn't drive itself. The gun doesn't shoot itself. Somebody always has to operate it. This is ludicrous. If you want to be honest about it, Biden's policies kill about 300 people a day through the fentanyl that he's letting over the border. I want y'all to know this stuff so that when you hear these jackasses using the term assault rifle, you will be equipped to shut their asses down with facts. God bless y'all. Don't ever tolerate that term in your presence again. Be good.